Next up at UFC 298, we have Robert Whitaker taking on, you did that hard for Paolo, taking on Paolo Costa. Robert Whitaker, 24 and 7 overall, 3 and 2 in his last five. He is coming off that pretty bad loss to Drikus Duplessis. He's taking on Paolo Costa, 14 and 2 overall, 3 and 2 in his last five. He's coming off the insanely sloppy win over Luke Rocco, literally sloppy. They were slobbing all over each other, bleeding yeah, on each other, elevation. kissing, rubbing. It's elevation. Yeah, but they were also like leaning into the whole like blood brothers. <laughs> <laughs> we got Robert. You had Whitaker. some of your blood on my face too. Have you uh, been? T- have, you, have you been tested? <laughs> I. You mean your blood on mine? As I, I said, you've had some of my blood on your face. What that's did I say not, the other way around? Not, yeah. You might we got wanna, Robert Whitaker. Uh, you might want to get tested. Robert Whitaker, former middleweight champion of the world. One of the most well-rounded guys in this weight class. Very good striker, very solid volume, very good takedowns. Constantly mixing up striking and movement patterns. He's going to lay out heavy leg kicks, then immediately charge forward, chase the head. His only losses since 2014 are to Israel Adesanya, when he was champion, and Drikas Duplessis, who is now the champion. He has 12 takedowns in the last six fights, and that really just... Shows you how well-rounded this guy is. He is coming off that surprising loss to Drikas 2 plus E, where he was finished in the second round. And it wasn't even... I was there in real life. And I had Robert Whitaker in the safety parlay. And what a mess that was. Because it wasn't even like Robert was winning and then lost. He lost every second of that fight. And it was a long fight, meaning it was over a full round. So he was just... It, it didn't make sense. It still doesn't make sense. Yeah, uh, I would still be positive if they fought tomorrow, Robert would win. And that's not how that went down. Nothing makes sense about that. And it wasn't a fluke. Maybe it was a fluke from a night perspective, but it wasn't a one punch situation. Like he beat his ass start to finish. And he's taking on Paolo Costa. He doesn't fight very often. In fact, he has more canceled fights than actual fights in the last three years. He has five canceled fights in the last three years and only one actual fight. But Paolo is a massive human being. He has a ton of power, a good amount of output, and a surprising amount of cardio for a guy that looks like he cuts 40 pounds to make this weight. When he fights, he is a ton of fun. He comes forward, heavy, fast punches, sets a relentless pace. He's landing, landing, landing seven significant strikes per minute. That is almost double the average of this weight class. His takedown defense is almost 80%. And he might need it here because Robert does a really good job of mixing in takedowns. He is coming off of that brotherly love win over Luke Rockle. I'm falling apart right now. Over Luke. Why? What's wrong? I don't know. I just can't speak. You ready for that V-Day night, huh? You got the... <laughs> Big plan after the... You asked me earlier, and I said... No, I'm talking about tonight, hitting that midnight. You can you I hear mean? the dogs Happy screaming? Happy day Okay. Can you hear the dogs screaming in the background? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's because Tiffany just got home, so now they're going berserk. Cool. So, yeah, let's get this over. No. So, um, right anyway, hard. I think Robert Whitaker wins this fight. I think Robert Whitaker is all around the better fighter. I, and I think that's a hard point to dispute. We know he's a very good striker. We know he's a very good wrestler. We know he's got championship composure. He literally was the champion. He gave Izzy his toughest fight before Strickland actually beat him. Robert Whitaker is the better, more well-rounded fighter here. Robert Whitaker is the pick, but I fully understand the line tightening. I get it, dude. And I saw Paolo Costa's Instagram while he's cutting weight. He is fucking Beautiful. Huge, oh. dude. He is good looking. He's he fun, is he's fun, huge, he's man. He's my he phone. He's so my big. phone uh, screensaver. <laughs> he is so big, dude. And Robert was just bullied, literally bullied by Drikas. And if Paolo doesn't have any ring rust, and if Paolo shows up looking like he did when he fought Yoel Romero, he could bully Robert Whitaker. But I don't think that happens. I do think Robert Whitaker wins this fight. I think the footwork, the elusiveness, the amount of fights he's had over the last couple of years, I think all of that works in Robert's favor. I understand the line tightening. It could probably even tighten a little more. But Robert Whitaker is going to be the pick, and I'm just leaning on all the experience and everything and just hope that his chin doesn't get touched. What do you think, Jakey Boy? Robert is the better fighter, right? I agree with you there. Robert... 
Damn it, man. He should have he should have beat DDP. <laughs> I don't understand how he did be- <laughs> Nothing about that makes sense. I was so high on Robert. I was such a, a DDP hater. I was like, this sloppy buffoon <laughs> is going to come in and blitz in against Robert Whitaker and get just fucking put out. And what happened? He got taken down, elbowed in the face, and then knocked <laughs> out in the second round. Here is the comparison that I'm going to make. And it's a weird comparison. It's a very kind of niche comparison that a lot of people aren't going to remember or whatever. But I see this as the Nathaniel Wood name off fight. We came into that fight, and we, or at least I agree, Nathaniel Wood is the better fighter. Nathaniel Wood was a better fighter. I mean, Robert Whitaker is a better fighter. But we approached that fighter. I broke down that fight. It's really hard to trust the chin of Nathaniel Wood because he has been clipped. He has been put down in the past. And we've seen Robert Whitaker, even when he's not getting put out and losing the fights, which he has been knocked out of lost fights, he's still kind of getting clipped. So that chin is already kind of hard to trust. But then, as you mentioned, he kind of was bullied a little bit in the wrestling and the grappling against DDP. Uh, against DDP because I think DDP was kind of that bigger, stronger guy, just like Naamov was not maybe the more technical guy, but sometimes, even though you're the more technical guy, me, you'll fight a bigger guy, Angelo, and they just kind of use their weight, and that's the way that they can get you down and can control you. And that's what Naimov was doing to Nathaniel Wood. He was just kind of outmanning him in those positions. He knocked him down and was just kind of being more physical with him in those type positions. I think Paulo could do the same thing here. I think he can he can test the chin because Robert isn't really a dangerous guy. He wants to fight that karate style and in and out. And yeah, he can knock out people because he's a big dude himself. It's 185 pounds, but he's not really a knockout guy. So Paulo is probably going to be the one pushing the pressure. I think he could be able to find that shot. And if he wants to mix in some wrestling, some grappling, Paulo's a really good underrated grappler. You saw Yoel, right? We talked about Henry Cejudo, Olympic champion. Yoel, a silver medalist, Took money to be a silver medalist. Should have just won gold in the Olympics as well. Couldn't even take And that's the one time that UL was actually trying to wrestle at times. And Paulo was defending the takedowns. Here's what I love the most about this for Paulo. Is Robert Whitaker has talked this week. I'm coming in for the kill. Now, everyone says that, right? When you get in there, I'm sure he's going to still do the karate stuff. But he's if he's coming in with a little bit more of an edge, a little bit more of a bravado of trying to get this fight done and finish and make a statement, I'm going to finish Paulo Costa. I like that for Paulo. For Robert Whitaker to be the, a, a big favorite in this fight that he is, minus 200, I think he does need to just dance around and do what Vittori did and, and do all this stuff and, and, and not get into these car crash situations. Because if he gets in these car crash situations, that's where Paulo excels. Every single time he's been able to get in a brawl, he wins, right? He couldn't really brawl Izzy, right? Izzy's kind of point fighting, sniped him from the outside. Vittori's got a fucking cinder block head, so he couldn't. You can't really do anything with, with Vittori. But when he can brawl people, he fucking hurts people, and I think he can hurt Robert Whitaker. I'm a big Robert Whitaker guy, but I just don't think he, I don't think he's that guy anymore, man. I think Paulo can get in there and uh, and find a shot, or maybe even just fucking wrestle. I mean, Paulo's a fucking dog, dude. He's a fucking dog. For as big as he is, he doesn't really get tired, and if, if even if he gets tired. He doesn't fucking stop, man. He's a fucking dog. I completely agree. The problem, you're not worried about the inactivity? No. I mean, and he said it himself, too. I've been through two full training camps, and then the fights dropped and stuff. So it's not like he's been with injuries and messing around. I mean, you can tell. The guy fucking works hard. I mean, he's a fucking... I don't, I don't think... It, with his fighting style and stuff, it's not like he needs to be technical. He just needs to get in the pocket and throw some shit. Yeah, I mean, he's not a quitter. He can, As long as he doesn't gas. And obviously... The fight with Luke Rockhold was at elevation, but that was a mess. That version of him doesn't beat Robert Whitaker. Yeah, it was a sloppy fight. I mean, they were tired. He's just winging shots. <laughs> like, winging him, dude. Like, that version of him is nowhere near beating Robert Whitaker. But, yeah, it could be could be the elevation there. But, I mean, you're going to get some good ads. Good ads. Good odds on Palo Costa here. Plus 192 to 1 underdog odds. $7,200 in DraftKings. He's probably the better DraftKings play than Robert Whitaker is. Robert Whitaker does not score well. He's not a finisher. He's just so good because he's so technical and he's so well rounded. He's so he, good, man. I don't. He's wanna, not a I, finisher. Yeah, I don't want to act like I'm trying to like show throw shade because I fucking love Robert Whitaker, man. He was my fucking dude. I literally, oh, damn it, man. Well, I got <laughs> I mean, I my, my my whole thing. This whole and it's been working out. Angelo, 2024 has put biases aside, reassess fights, right? And that's what I'm trying to do. I've had success so far. I'm going Pollock. Uh, no, I I um I am on the Whitaker side and I'm I agree with these odds. Right? I think Whitaker should be the two to one favorite here. It makes sense based on his activity, based on everything he's accomplished, based on his skill sets, but he was just bullied and beaten up. The only reason I'm not worried about that, like I was 
when we broke down Amanda Lamoche, what's she going to look like after that fight? Robert Whitaker seems mentally like a, he moves on. He moves past it. I lost he's, it. It is what it is. He already, moves past it. There's some quotes out there about him saying he lost the passion for combat sports and retiring and all this stuff. And Well, I'm on the Whitaker side. You're on the Costa side. Uh, but I will say Robert Whitaker in DraftKings at $9,000 does not make sense. He historically does not score very well because he's uh, sort of a point fighter that doesn't finish. Very technical. Puts on a master class but doesn't finish. If you want to check out all the picks, the bets, the round line leans, and more, I do have a bet on this fight. You can get that at wewantpicks.com. Just click become a member at the top. It's only $10 a month. You're not only going to get the bets, the picks, round line leans, but you're also going to get, we have an AI that picks fights based solely off of data and is doing it at an incredible accuracy. Wewantpicks.com. Click become a member at the top. And this guy, I mean, he signed up to fight Chimayev when nobody else would. I mean, he's not a pussy. But he didn't fight him, though, did he? I mean, he literally tried even with staph infection on his arm he didn't get medically cleared so he's not a pussy no before you go let me give you 50 dollars. anybody who goes to wewantpicks.com slash bets and signs up with any one of our affiliate partners gets 50 dollars as a thank you use the link sign up make a deposit we send you 50 bucks as a thank you